G'day ZKD here and welcome back to my Pillars of Eternity roleplay through where we've been battling through the Temple of Aethus, fighting all sorts of dark spirits and spectres and it's been going... eh... <laughs> it's been going okay. <laughs> we've learned some things and I think we're doing a little bit better and I think we have what it takes to continue to clear the deeper levels of the Temple of Aethus. We've so far come down to the second level here and cleared out this top room where we had a bit of an intense battle. Uh, I think I got a lucky fan of flames that wiped out a, a large pack of uh, spirits and spectres. But uh, now we have to move through the rest of these rooms and search for the bodies of the missing priests. Now I've discovered, and this is actually thanks to one of the uh, guys in the comments, that you can set custom formations, so I've set a bit of a formation like this. We have we have Adair up the front, of course, I, I am sitting, you know, just to the side of him, ready to engage in melee if I want, but giving me a little bit of buffer room and a little bit of space to potentially cast some spells. And we have Aloth hanging a little bit further back so that he's uh, a bit safer potentially. Uh, still, you know, I don't want him like hanging way too far back, but still in a position where he can cast some spells. So this is kind of what it looks like here. So, it looks like the, uh, well, we could potentially do with a rest, but I only have one set of camping supplies left. I think it might not be a, too bad an idea to <laughs> push forwards a little bit, maybe see if we can clear a little bit further before we camp. And then, uh, we just have to be a little bit careful because Aloth has taken a bit of a beating, and we don't want him to actually die properly. So, uh, it's alright if he falls unconscious in a fight, we can handle that, but we don't want him actually going down. So I believe I have cleared the spirits in these hallways here, so we should be free to safely clear the rooms. I think if I creep forwards here, it looks like there's another staircase down here. We don't really know much about this yet. Does this just descend down slightly, or is this... Uh, this actually descends down into water. Can we sort of poke into the water here? Okay, no, we don't really want to go for a swim in the down in the haunted waters. <laughs> Alright then. Uh, in that case, then I think it probably isn't a bad idea to try and open this room here. So I might move everyone forwards here, and of course we'll, uh, we're already creeping. Discreet. Let's creep open and open this door and see what's inside. It is locked! It requires five mechanics or four mechanics and five lockpicks. That is a lot of lockpicks! We don't have anywhere near that amount of lockpicks. Um, <laughs> it's strange that it requires five lockpicks. Okay, so we're not going to be able to do anything with this lock just yet then. I haven't seen any switches or anything, so we might need to poke in the other direction. I think I might actually head up this way, so let's speed up this way and uh, clear out these sides. Before I head into this central room, I kind of don't want anything coming up behind me. Alright, let's move forwards over here. And I'm going to go ahead and open this door, and we'll see if this one's locked. This one's not locked. Alright, let's carefully poke ahead. Let's. Alright, we have spotted... A, another shadow just there. Now, have we learned much about the shadows in our fighting of them so far? Let's take a look at the Cyclopedia Beastery. And we have the shadow just here. We've defeated five. We have a bit of an idea of some of their basic stats. Uh, they have low intellect uh, and only, you know, not too high a resolve. So, uh, potentially mind bending uh, spells. Uh, should be fairly effective against them. I did miss a few times potentially maybe they do have high damage resistance and a resistant uh, A bit resistant to burn but very resistant to freezing and shocking So if we're going to go for an element there then burns probably gonna be the best There's no corrosive resistance or anything like that So we could potentially use that though. I only have one corrosive spell uh, and their raw damage resistance is pretty high as well so uh, they're pretty tough. There's not too much to it. Just at least I know now that uh, at least lightning and cold is not very effective. Alright, I'm gonna see if there's any more in there. Let's go for it. There's actually two. Alright, two that I can see. I don't think I can see any other ones. And the other door is closed, so we should be able to engage just these two fairly safely. This this shouldn't be too bad. Hmm? Let's have Adair get ready there uh, to uh, push forwards so that he can block the doorway if he needs to. We'll have Aloth hang back here. Indeed. I'll actually have him hang out of sight, like, I think that worked pretty well last time. And, uh, I'm going to engage here. I might try and go for a safer engagement tactic this time, uh, and open up with an eye strike. See if that works. See if, if we can blind one of them, potentially, then, uh, that might be a little bit safer. Let's see how that goes. Alright, we... Alright, let's have a look what happened here. Let's draw this text up a little bit and see... I strike misses shadow. Okay, so yeah, all right. So he rolled and and was and we missed it. So unfortunate, but that is life. That is life. Okay, I think I might pu pull back a bit here, and we'll have Adair close in, and we'll get ready with Aloth to cast a spell. All right, this should work well. 
Uh, we can potentially, once they close in, cast a, a bewildering spectacle there. Uh, should be nice and safe. Now he's going to open up with a ranged attack, probably on a dare, it looks like. Yeah, this works pretty well. Alright, let's have these two engage here. This should work well. Let's have hmm? a dare uh, attempt. I I'm going to try this. I feel like knocking down a spirit is something that would be difficult to do, but a dare is a bit of a beast. He might well actually be able to do it. Let's try. <laughs> And then we'll get ready for a spell just here, so... We'll wait, I'll, I'll actually wait a moment for the spell. Ah, uh, we, we did trip the spirit up! It actually works! <laughs> Alright, well, I'll take it, I'll take it. Okay, um, in the meantime, I am going to... Uh, open up with a, a mind blast here. And I should be able to hit this shadow and maybe knock down the one in the rear as well. And see if that, see if that can work. And then I might follow up with some uh, magic missiles here just to deal some damage. We're probably going to rest soon, so I'm not afraid to use some damage dealing spells. Lava will be on that was pretty good. <laughs> okay, that was pretty effective. Now I am in danger of blocking the doorway here. There's only the one. Let's see if I can bypass him and then have Adair get engage. Uh, it's a bit, he's a bit out of the way. All right, Adair can switch to a bow then. Let's have Adair pop backwards and make some attacks with a bow then, since uh, I'm blocking the doorway like a jerk. And uh, we can have. We can have Aloth just use his uh, combat encounter spell there. Alright, we should be able to beast him here. Yes, nicely done. Alright, textbook. A textbook display, I think. I only took a little tiny bit of damage, and otherwise, I think that went pretty damn well. How may I help? Alright, Aloth still seems to be doing okay in terms of spells. Let's see what we've found. Oh, it looks like one mechanics and plus two lockpicks, or two mechanics. I think one. some of us might have two mechanics. Let's get a little bit of an idea of what we're looking at mechanics. Uh, one. Mechanics 2, and uh, Mechanics 0. Okay, so Aloth is yes. able to do this without wasting any lockpicks. There we go. Oh, hello. A fine pike! Ooh, two-handed. Who would I want to use a two-handed weapon? I don't know. It does... I think these have longer range, though, which means we could potentially attack from the back lines. We've been fighting in a lot of doorways here, so maybe attacking from the rear, so attacking from, you know, behind Adair potentially could work. Let's have a look. So, range on my fine sword is... Uh, it doesn't actually say the range, so I guess that's melee range, whereas the fine pike has a longer range. So this could actually work. I'm gonna... I'm gonna test it out. Let's test it out. So let's drop the... Uh, let's drop that. Can I actually use this? Okay. Yeah, we should be able to. Alright, well, it seems pretty beastly. Um, and Adair is currently using a saber. 14 to 21 slash... Versus 15 to 21 on the uh, on the fine sword there. That seems like a pretty good a pretty good trade off for him. Is there any other things to consider here? Uh, not not really, not really. I don't think fine gives extra accuracy as well. So we'll go ahead and equip the fine longsword for him. That should work pretty well. Okay, well we'll try out the spear and see how it works. I feel like attacking faster for me in general is better, but we'll give the spear a go. It might help with the doorways. Yes. Okay, let's have a look. What do we got here? Trap triggered. I'm seeing red now. <sighs> I didn't learn my lesson last time. I didn't learn my lesson. Is Aloth officially dead? Is he gonna be okay? All right, he can recover from the trap. Uh, <laughs> oh, I didn't learn the first time, guys. I didn't learn the first time. <laughs> Right, last time that happened, I said, all right, all right, we're gonna be careful now. We're gonna sneak around, we're gonna check things before we open them. <sighs> I'm such an idiot! <laughs> all right, Aloth and Adair, I'm so sorry, but mostly Aloth. I'm very sorry. Aloth, though, of course. he's the real MVP of this party. <laughs> he's taken quite the beating. All right, all right, let's go ahead and camp then. I guess there's no other choice. We can, we can always retreat out of the dungeon and collect more supplies if we need to. Or if we're lucky, we might find some more. Huh. You wake up to the sensation of being shaken, and you open your eyes to see a dare standing over you. His hand jostling your shoulder, he looks concerned. Your eyes are heavy on your vision blurred, the vague unease of unremembered nightmares clouding your thoughts. You're not sure you slept at all the previous night. Hey. Hey. You're awake? Good. You were, uh, you were kind of thrashing around, eyes rolled back in your head. You were shaking. I'm trying to snap you out of it for a long time now. I was gonna have to get a bucket of cold water. You, uh, you don't seem like you get much rest at night. You got those dark circles under your eyes. Yeah, not lately. At night there are dreams and whispers. Well, it's the watcher thing, then. 
I'm sure it just takes some time to adjust is all. I'll try to let it sort itself out. But you'd better wake up faster next time. Trust me, you don't want that bucket of cold water. <laughs> Sounds refreshing. His smile is not one of a man convinced by his own words. He's trying to reassure me, but he himself is not so reassured. Okay, so we I think we have disabled the trap. <laughs> uh, we didn't do it very gracefully, but I think it is disabled hey. now. Let's have the dare open it. Okay. Uh, a, a ring of protection. Fantastic. And a scroll of restore minor endurance. That sounds particularly uh, handy. Let's have a look here. Who picked up the scroll? It requires two lore, which I do have two lore. So I'm going to go ahead and equip that because we can use that to uh, heal whoever's getting, uh, whoever's getting killed essentially at the time. Now, Adair has a, a ring of protection. This one only gives deflection. Oh, this is a, a minor ring of deflection. It's literally only deflection. Well, we can equip this on Adair, and uh, he's going to become even even sort of tankier, better able to deflect attacks, in addition to his ring of protection, which is pretty much everything, fortitude, reflex, and will. Okay, so these are, these are different things. And uh, it's pretty nice that you can uh, mouse over any of these stats in the game, and it gives you a little sort of... Uh, a little sort of spiel on what the deal is with these stats, which is pretty nice. So, deflection is defense used to resist direct melee and ranged attacks that are not area of effect. Area of effect is protected by reflex from memory. So, as you can see, reflex dodge out of the way of physical, physically harmful AoE attacks. So, not mental AoE attacks, but physically harmful ones. So, like explosions and things like that. So, uh, that's like your uh, that's like your your saving throws in D and D, for example. So we're gonna be very careful of traps. I'm, I know I made this promise before, guys, but we're gonna be even more careful than we were before. <laughs> even more careful. Okay, let's check out this door just here. Everyone, sh everyone stays there. That's a pretty good position. All right, that opens up some sort of sarcophagus or something. It looks like. Okay, I am seeing at least one shadow in there. Let's. There's two shadows. I would like to see... There's three shadows. Okay, just as I suspected. I wanted to poke in a little bit further. Three shadows is nothing we can't deal with. So let's... Uh, I might try for the blind again. It didn't work so well last time, but... Hey. No, doggy, don't, don't give us right, away. Then. Don't give us away! <laughs> How may I help? You're gonna give us away? Indeed. <laughs> Alright, let's have Aloth stand over here. No, 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 over there. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm gonna try and see if I can blind these two. So my blind AoE is too small to get both of them, unfortunately. I could just open up with damage. Mmm... We'll try for the blind. I like the idea of taking one of these guys sort of out of the fight, out of combat effectiveness for a while. We could try mental binding as well. Uh, this one uses a bit more of our focus, but it can potentially bind this spot, to, this guy to the spot uh, for a short time, and uh, essentially allowing us to deal with the other ones. Let's let's give that a go. All right, slow things down a bit here. Okay. Oh, there's a fourth one. There's a fourth one hiding behind the sarcophagus. Oh, damn. Okay. That's unfortunate. Well, we're just gonna have to make the best of it. We're gonna have to make the best of it. Okay, I'm gonna head back here and we'll have Adair move in again. Let's just head to about there, so we can so we can gang up on them. Now, it looks like our... he is stuck for five seconds. Alright, that gives us only a little bit of time. Not a lot of time, that's for sure. Alright, this works... this is works alright. Um... I might try for... can I blind this one here? I wanna try and do this without moving out of position. I might wait, I think. Uh, what I can actually do is have Adair move into melee and then actually stand behind okay. him. Since I have the spear now, I should be able to sort of thrust, you know, from the side of him, essentially. So we'll give we'll give that a try, and we can trip any ones that come in close. Alright, is there anything I can do to prepare with uh, Aloth? Not really. I don't think there's anything I want to do with Aloth just yet. Alright, here we go. Well, uh, let's, let's wait it out. We'll wait it out. Okay, here we mm -hmm. go. So, now I'm probably going to want to move in and... Uh, Use trip. Is there two shadows there? There is two shadows there. Oh, let's trip this shadow if I can. And I'm gonna try and engage it as well. Alright, that worked that worked pretty well. That worked pretty well. And I'm gonna try and use my confusion AoE just here as well. And I don't have very good line of sight. Mm, it's alright, he should move to he should move into position to be able to use that just fine. Ah thick where sun rough. All right, that worked. That worked reasonably well. All right, how are we going? Are we are we engaging? Okay, that's kind of what I'm worried about here. We have confused that shadow, so that one's not a problem for a second. All right, let's just wait. And we'll we'll leave this for a second, see what happens. All right, I don't know if I'm able to engage correctly. Yeah, it looks like I'm engaging. Okay. 
All right, they've yes. ganged up on us quite a bit here. Phantom Flames is not a good idea in this position, I don't think. <laughs> um, I might, I might try, I might try and use dazzling lights here, since they're all grouped up at the moment. Any more sort of crowd control is going to be very helpful, I hey. think. Now I have one more knockdown. We can save that until after the dazzling. There's no point stacking that up, essentially. Uh, now I have enough to use a mind blast as well, which I might try and do here. Let's give that a go. Pretty, pretty effective Mind Blast, pretty effective Mind Blast. This is a sketchy fight guys, we've got to play this very well. Okay, let's keep it, let's engage here. Adair is going well, we haven't taken any damage so far, so not too bad. I might want to try and actually deal some damage now I think. How is this Shadow? This Shadow is pretty weakened, that one's slightly weakened. This one's almost downed, I think we can leave him. I might try and use Magic Missiles on here. Alright. Okay, how are you going, Adair? You've okay. used... You've got your knockdown now. Let's actually knock down this one. Lava will be on seek. That looks like we took one of them down just there. So just the three now. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, has he actually used his knockdown? No, he hasn't. Let's try and use the knockdown there. Might have gotten interrupted, potentially. Uh, we haven't taken any damage yet. <laughs> Alright, pretty good, pretty good. I'm going to focus this one. And we'll have how may I have Aloth... Hit another, uh, throw another magic missiles in there. This is the, kind of the safest thing for, that I can do, really, without damaging my allies. All right, let's let this play out for a second. Oh, fighting well, gentlemen, fighting well. That's what I want to see. Adair is doing a great job up front. All right, let's throw another, another magic missile in there on the weakened one in the rear there. Clear him up. Uh, I'm doing okay taking this one out. Adair has probably got that covered. Lava will be on seek. Only one damage! What happened there? Damn, only one damage? Shadow grazes Adair for two damage. Hmm. Aloth, where was Aloth? Shadow grazes, yeah. Okay, so only only just sort of singed his shoulder or something with it. Alright, in that case then. Um, let's Hi? get Aloth to use his use his ranged attack here. And uh, I think we'll just we'll keep going with it. I'll try and take out this one if I can. There's, there we go, yes! Alright, everyone finished off the last one. Finish him! Finish him, speed things up, reg back to regular speed. We've got it, come on guys, there we go. Good work, Adair. Oh, good work team, that fight went really well, we only took a tiny bit of damage. I did use a lot of Aloth spells though, so uh, he... If we can't camp, then the next... You know, the next fights could be a little bit more difficult. But uh, I think that went pretty damn well. You know, not taking any damage is fine. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, <laughs> really? Really? Oh, I'm so terrible. <laughs> uh, okay, well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I'm, uh, well, at least I suffered by my own mistake this time. I'll see what I can find. So, I don't yeah, know how good we are act actually even how spotting traps. Let's let's creep course. around the room and have a look. At least I have, um, at least I've triggered this trap now. We can have a look in there. Some scale armor, a little bit of a gate, and, uh, some, some copper coins as well. Okay, what else do we have how then? May I help? So, am I going to be able to see if there's any traps on hey. any of these? Alright, I think it's only the middle one left now. Well, I think Adair is the toughest. If anyone's gonna have to eat a trap, it's gonna be Adair. I mean, I don't know I don't know what else I can do if I haven't spotted it by scouting. <laughs> well, this is my this is my tactics, guys. This is my methodology. <laughs> this is how I deal with traps. Wonderful, wonderful. Good work, Adair. You held up well to that flame <laughs> that fireball. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, good. We're okay. Ah, here we go. Cloak of an Aethasian Priest. Properties of will plus 10. That's, uh, that's pretty nice. That's a lot of extra will. So will pre will prevents any sort of negative, uh, effects from mind-bending magic. So anything that will affect the mind. So we can take a look at who has the kind of the weakest intelligence and, uh, resolve. Uh, it looks like Adair's pretty decent. Uh... Aloth is best. Aloth is pretty good. And I have high intelligence, which gives me a lot of will. But 
Uh, not a lot of resolve. Hmm. Okay, it looks like we're all pretty solid, so I think I might just chuck it on someone who doesn't have it then. Who would be most devastating to lose control of? Probably Adair, actually, since he's up taking the front line. I think putting this on him would probably would be fairly helpful. Let's check it out. So, yes. Capes and cloaks. Uh, this, ca this cloak is embroidered with the sunburst emblem of Aethus. Uh, so, this one, 10 plus will, pretty solid. Alright, let's put this on Adair. Oops. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. There we go. And now, yeah, it's, uh, does it have the sun emblem? Yeah, it does have the sun emblem. Nice. Nice detail, then. Uh, should I should I give Adair a hat? <laughs> I could give him a massive pimp hat. <laughs> or I can give him uh, a slightly more appropriate metal helm. <laughs> or we can give him kind of just like a traveler's, a traveler's hood. You know what? I think we'll give him the metal helmet. And uh, I feel like... I feel like you guys might hate me for this, <laughs> but I feel like Aloth demands a pimp hat. Look at that thing. That that feathered hat, I think, is uh, very telling of his his sort of nature. Oh, hello! A phantom appears. Pr perhaps it's not happy with us looting its <laughs> looting its treasures. It was probably the owner of the cloak, and now it's probably annoyed. Uh, we should be okay with dealing with this. I will try and blind it first, if I can. Yeah, let's try and blind it. We'll have a dare move in, and uh, I'll just use my per encounter attack here. Alright, it's just the one yeah. phantom, isn't it? Alright, shouldn't be too bad. Alright, you attack. Um, I will... I will. How did I go with the blinding? Looks like I missed again, unfortunately. I'm not having much luck with that. Let's go with a mind blast, and we'll get a dare. We'll get a, a dare to trip him, just so he doesn't deal any more damage. Get him! Get him! The trip was unsuccessful. Oh man, I'm taking a lot of damage. All right, just try once again, just in case. He's about to die anyway. Oh, uh, this is not good. This is not good. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, I'm down. I'm down. Come on, finish him. He's so close. Damn, those things are nasty. Those phantoms are very nasty. Way more nasty than the shadows. Whoa, I am not doing so well. Okay. Yep, I'm actually like I can't even recover to full endurance because I'm so injured at the moment. Well. I think it might be a good idea for us to head back up to town and get some supplies and maybe rest in the inn as well. <laughs> Hopefully we're not attacked by any more uh, phantoms on the way out. That was that was a bit sketchy. I thought things were going so well until this point. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to head out for some supplies and hopefully we can travel back in after we recover some. At least we're travelling back in style with that feathered cap. Oh man. <laughs> I think I'm going to take a laborer's rest. Extra and perception mechanics could be pretty handy in there. Resolve, probably not as handy. So we'll go with that. We're going to try and get a good, night, good night's rest here. Uh-oh. Looks like a good night's rest is not what we'll be getting. Help. Wurton, this place is overrun, my man. So I've discovered. The temple has been sealed up for years. They must have tunneled in after the, well, the food stores. Shouldn't be anything worse than some vermin, though. <laughs> There's far worse than spiders, my friend. Oh? Wurton blinks slowly, brows furrowing with worry. Then, well, I'm in the same spot, friend. I can only beg your help. Welcome. Alright, we're still looking, my man. Remember, there are some hidden chambers in this place. Trick sconces, that kind of thing. Best keep an eye out. I will do so, though. My ability to spot things thus far has not been... not been super reliable. <laughs> Especially of the trap variety. Now, I did pick up four sets of supplies. We'll head down to the second level once again. The set, four sets of supplies were very expensive, though, so we have to try and do well in here because we are in danger of running out of money. I'm actually I'm actually quite broke. So, <laughs> And camping camping supplies are pretty expensive, We're buying food and firewood and everything. Okay, I think now we'll head into this central room. Uh, it seems seems pretty interesting. It's, a pre it's pretty large, so we'll have to be a little bit careful, though. Nothing so far. Hmm. Looks like I see some cobwebs in the corner there. We might, we may encounter some spiders. Let's just creep forwards a little bit carefully here, just by ourselves, and uh, we'll draw things to the door if we need to. All right, I do see one shadow. Shadow is not too hard to deal with, but 
Of course, the uh, the spirits or the spectres of the other ones that we uh, encountered were a little bit nastier. There's two shadows. Three shadows. There could be more, too. There could be more. We can't see quite over into that corner. They are starting to take notice of me. Alright, it looks like just the three shadows, which is not too bad. Uh, we may we may go ahead and engage hey. here in the, right, out in the open. Let's move in. Of course. Now, there is something strange over there in, against the wall, too, so... This could, um, it could be, uh, controls for floodgates for the water or something like that. Maybe we can drain the temple and move deeper. Hey. I can only All speculate right, at then. this point. Alright, I think we're gonna, Indeed. we're gonna line up and I'm gonna just try and keep Aloth way, 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 way back. <laughs> Hopefully in a safe location. So, from here, I think I'm gonna open up with damage. So far... You know, anything but has not worked out so well for us. The the par paralysis has worked reasonably well, but I think opening up with damage is not a bad idea. Alright, um, let's have... First, I might just move Adair forwards a little bit. Alright, Adair is starting to get noticed. That's fine. We can we can act before that happens. Alright, let's target the central one here, and we'll see how that goes. Did I miss? Oh, I missed! And you have to hit the first one before it'll bounce to the others. Damn it. Okay, um, in that case then... We'll open up with some damage from Aloth here. I'll try and... Uh, I wouldn't mind, like, it'd, it'd be awesome to get in there and do some Fan of Flames or something, though that's a little bit more of a, uh, a ballsy strategy. Alright, I'll open up with some damage. And we'll have we'll have Adair move in to engage. Hopefully, if I move him forwards here, hopefully they'll target him. Alright, that went pretty well. That went pretty well. Now, I may, I may be able to blind them here while they're stacked up on top of each other. Let's try. Let's try. Alright. Wish me luck. Adair's taking a bit of a beating, but he's pretty he's pretty tough. Ziggy D Starcraft uh, Ziggy D Starcraft. Ziggy D Stardust. I struck Mrs. Shadow. Oh <laughs> well, damn. Unfortunate. Okay. Let's move in and engage these ones then. I might try and target the weakened one already. And I will use some dazzling lights here on top of these guys. And hopefully that works this time. Ah, once teleported on top of Adair. Okay. Um, this one is engaging me currently. Hey. If I engage with Adair there, I should hopefully be able to draw its en draw its engagement off me. Uh, I don't I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. What can I do here to deal with this one? How weakened is it? It is a sl it is slightly weakened. <sighs> what can I do? What can I do? I don't want to. If I break engagement, I'm gonna have to break engagement. I think it's the best thing to do. And we'll have we'll have Aloth move up this way. All right, carefully draw attention, draw his attention, and I will try and I think I'll try and uh, use this one here on him. See if we can da daze him. All right, that wasn't successful again. Damn, I'm not having much luck with these guys. They are seem pretty resistant to my magic for the most part. Alright, well, let's try and finish him up with some magic missiles then. Actually, I mean, I am in close range. We'll go ahead and use Ray of Fire. Alright, Ray of Fire, good luck. Uh, I don't have any focus hey. to do any skills at the moment. Let's try and knock down one of these guys. This one's almost dead, so we'll knock down the, the more healthy one. Alright, not successful. Let's finish off this one if I can. Aeloth's taking quite a bit of damage. Oh, Aeloth, no yes. man, come on. You can do this, you can do this. Oh, this shadow is still very healthy. Uh, what do we have here? Potion of Fleet Feet. It's probably not going to work. I could try and I could try and confuse him. I'm about. Hopefully, I can get this spell off quickly enough. Let's try it. I'm not. I'm not liking it though. Ah, uh, uh, the teleport. The teleport again. Uh, Aloth is surrounded. All right, I'm going to move around the the backside here and uh, poke the shadow <laughs> from the backside. Oh, Aloth went down. Well. That was to be expected. Alright, let's finish this one off, hopefully. I'm gonna try and knock him down. Unsuccessful. Alright then. No, 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 keep fighting. Keep fighting. Oops. <laughs> Alright, not the best fight, not the smoothest. <laughs> Them jumping on Aloth just turns the whole fight around against us, and we just had no luck getting our spells to connect either. All of them were deflected. <sighs> well, we, we got through it at least, we did get through it. Alright, now, let's see if we can just see if this is trapped. <laughs> you, you know, I mean, <laughs> so far, just about everything has been trapped. Alright, it seems okay. It seems okay. So what are we looking at here? Let's have a look. 
It looks like, it does look like a wheel. Potentially floodgate control. You hear a grinding noise beneath your feet and the rush of water. Just as I suspected. It looks like it has drained the temple. Good stuff, good stuff. Ah, oh, I like it when things go as planned. <laughs> Unlike that fight. Hmm, creeping forwards into the drained section of the temple, I see a lesser black ooze. That is, uh, you know, not surprising, I guess, given that this was uh, an area full of water. Uh, the oozes shouldn't be too difficult to deal with. We might be able to clear this out just okay. Um, all right, well then, in that case, I will... I, I think I might try and creep forwards first. Let's have everyone just sort of hold for a second. And I'll creep forwards and just... we'll just see. We'll just make sure it's just just some swamp oozes there or some black oozes. All right, there is three of them. Okay. All right, this 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 could work okay. I might be able to... I don't know if I am able to knock down a black ooze exactly, but, but we'll, we'll try. We'll try. Okay, and I'll have Aloth Hi. also... Uh, I'll have him move forwards for a fan of flames this hey. time, actually, and we can have him retreat. Yes. Against, I, I think against black uh, oozes, that won't be such a bad thing. Now, let's just consult our journal before we do get into this fight. Uh, lesser black ooze. Uh, they're damage resistant against freeze. Fire should be effective, then. Looks like I did hit the second one here, and he is- he has- he has been knocked down, I've scattered him! I just imagine kind of like the ooze just kind of like splattering against the wall or something, <laughs> and taking a moment to recollect itself. I kind of like that idea. Uh, let's have a damn move down a little bit, and I'm gonna move forwards and get rid of the Fan of Flames. I'll move back here. Alright, so you cast a Fan of Flames. Uh, let's- let's wait a second. Alright, he has cast a spell there. Let's move in just a little bit closer. Alright, that's close enough. That's well close, well and truly close enough, my friend. Alright, let's do this. And then, actually, we should probably rush them from this point. Let's go ahead. Wait, no, 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 don't rush into the fan of flames. Just wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, that was very effective. Okay. Alright, now let's move in. Um, I might try and see if I can blind them, potentially. Yes. And I can use some magic missiles to maybe take out this one at the back there. And mm. Aloth can engage this one as he is. Perfect. Sorry, uh, Adair can engage that one. No, it looks like he's moving around the back there, so we'll get him to engage this one. Alright, the middle one is downed. Alright, that one is just about dead as well. I'm going to engage this one to help him out. Adair should be fine, and I don't want Aloth to take too much more of a beating. Alright, everyone finish him off. Oh! Aloy just got smacked! <laughs> just got slapped by that ooze. Alright, we're okay, we're okay. Uh, yeah, I'll take a little bit of damage. I probably could have avoided that. Some ooze plasma. Ew, gooby. What do I see here? Okay, is the cloak trapped? Hello. What do you guys reckon? <laughs> is the cloak trapped? I'll just look confer with the party for a second. You know, we should be careful of traps. I don't trust anything anymore. Right, I think the cloak is probably okay. Ah, in the cloak we find a gleaming silver key. This is probably for that locked door, just up the top side there. Alright, is there anything else here? Looks like that's it. So, by draining this section, we're able to recover a key, potentially to unlock this door here that was locked. Now, I think I want to explore this room first. Okay, let's see what's in here. Nothing... I love the way the light filters into the room as you open the door. It's very, very immersive. Okay, so we have one shadow. Three shadows. Four shadows. <sighs> Ooh, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. We've had pretty bad luck with the shadow fights. Then again, we do have a good doorway in which to fight for this one. I could try it. I could try and paralyze one of them and we might be able to make this work. All right, we'll have Aloth hang right back here and in safety because we, we can't afford Aloth to go down this. Uh, and he can just... Is he doesn't actually have too much available, but he can do something like a bewildering spectacle as an emergency. But uh, hopefully our fighters can handle this. Adair and I are doing pretty well. Okay. Let's have Adair creep forwards there. All right, Adair, you are going to wait there. All right, good. All right. <sighs> Wish me luck with this one. Now, I think I will open up with the mental binding. Hopefully I can do it on this one without being noticed. Alright, that's pretty good. How to let's we'll have to wait for the spell to connect before we see how it goes. We can move back from there. Yeah, it looked like it was unsuccessful. Unfortunately. Misses mental misses the shadow. Yep. There's the rolls. Alright. <laughs> oh man, this looks so sketchy. There's actually five. There's actually five. Okay. Crap. 
Alright, just move in, make sure we've got like a nice tight sort of positioning here. Uh, maybe we can corrode some of these guys. Maybe we can make this work. Alright, if they shuffle around like crazy and get themselves burnt, this might actually work. Let's try this. We'll try it. We've got to, we've got to try something crazy here, I think. Alright. This could work. This could work. Hmm. Alright, let's have Adair attempt to knock down this one just here if he can. Adair is not taking damage, is he? Not from the antip antipathic field, at least. You know what? Ugh. I don't know. It's it's not working out properly. It's not working out properly. They're not crossing over through the beam well enough. You know, I targeted one in the middle and it didn't it didn't end up working out they, the way they shuffled. Okay, so that's not that's probably not going to work. Hey. We're just going to have to try and fight it out, I think. Let's see if I can cast a uh, bewildering spectacle. This could get them to shuffle around a bit, and that could work. Hold on, let's move. Have him move up this way. I don't want them to like teleport and jump on me though. Okay. This could work, right? This could cause some nice confusion. It looks like I actually did manage to kill one of them, and that was probably with the field, too. Alright, that worked well. Oh my god. <laughs> so basically, this, the moment they see Aloth by himself, they just jump on him. Okay, well this shadow is confused. These two shadows are both confused right now. Alright, we're gonna have to push back and engage these two. Maybe I can grab... Try and, try and grab both of them there. And otherwise, I'm going to try and cast another spectacle here and see if we can get those to work. If we can confuse these two, it'll buy us a little bit more time. Aloth is getting absolutely destroyed. <laughs> Goodbye, Aloth! <laughs> Damn. Alright, so we are going to be well and truly flanked here as well, guys. This is not going to go so well. Alright, try and knock down the one you were engaging at least. And I have I have nothing. I could potentially recover some of our endurance here if I if I get a chance. I can use Crucible of the Soul. Okay, foe AOE. All right, so this only hurts enemies. We are surrounded, so not a bad idea once we take some damage to use that. Damn. All right. Well, now might be a good now might be a good time. <laughs> Let's give it a go. I haven't used this thing yet. Alright, oh that seemed okay. It looks like we've actually done some pretty good damage here. We might actually, we might pull through. Now that healed me a good deal too. Alright, let's, let's use this heal here on Adair. Hold on, that's me. Let's use it on Adair. It must, might actually heal me too. Let's try it out. Come on Dan, hold up man. You can, you can hold up for a second. Alright. Uh, yes, we have, I, I, was, I was able to use it successfully. I'm still taking a huge amount of damage though. Alright, how are these shadows going? That one's getting pretty low. I'm gonna try and... <sighs> the Ice Strikes have been super unsuccessful. Let's just try and Mind Blast him. Getting very low. Ah, oh, was, was I interrupted or something? Shadow interrupted. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it! Minor regeneration. I might have to pop this to try and make it through this fight. Oh no. Alright, it's just a dare now. I don't know if it is gonna be able to make it by himself. He's, he's pretty beastly, but I don't think he's that beastly. It looks like he's, this one over here is not able to engage. That's something, at least. Alright, let's take take out the weakened one first. Come on, Adair. Do your best, man. Do your best. Alright, Adair. You can do this. Alright, let's speed things up a little bit and see how it goes. The actual regular speed of combat is pretty fast and furious. <sighs> he's doing so little damage. Is there anything I can grab that'll help? <laughs> One damage reduction. He could he could chug some ale. All right, let's get let's have it. Oh, I can't uh, I can't equip in combat. Makes sense. A bit difficult to get some ale out and just chug it in the middle of combat. Oh no. Bum bum bum. Unless the dare gets some sick crits or something now. Oh, that's not bad. Nope, he goes down. Rough fight, so I underestimated that a little bit. I thought we could maybe deal with four, but having them jump on Aeloth and having Aeloth have very little spells as well made things a bit difficult. So I think we, we have to now transfer ourselves into an alternate dimension version of ourselves and see what we learn from that particular situation. <laughs> Somewhere in a parallel universe, as I approach the door, I get a Watcher's Vision 
floods into my mind like a punch to the face. And I have a vision of how all of us being mer mercilessly slaughtered. And uh, we at least decide to sleep on it. <laughs> We're gonna go sleep in the most comfortable location. This soggy place full of water. Seems like a good idea, right? Yeah, sure, it'll be fine. Let's go ahead and rest. <laughs> Alright, we're all we're all in tip-top fighting shape now. That's something, I suppose. Now, we could potentially take on that room, or I could leave it for now, and I'm pretty curious about this. We have a key now for this. Am I holding the key? Uh, the key has gone to our inventory somewhere. There we go. We can unlock with the gleaming silver key. Alright, let's do this slowly. What is inside? Alright, just, just a room so far. Let's poke our head in a little bit. How may I help? Curiosity always gets the better of me. Alright, no, no, don't close the door on me. <laughs> Alof, please. Your pimp your your pimping swag hat does not excuse that. Such malicious actions. Alright, I do see a shadow up ahead. What have we got? Is it just the one shadow? Surely not. Surely not. Alright, it might just be the one shadow. Let's try and creep out here if I can. Hi. We'll yes. have Aloth hang back so it doesn't take any damage from this, from this. We should be able to just deal with this ourselves, right? Right? Potentially. Potentially. Okay, well, I'm going to open up with a Mind Blast then, and we'll have Adair engage. And uh, hopefully I can draw him back this way in case there any, is, uh, is any other shadows. But I can't get for, far enough forwards to see if there is any, any other shadows. Well, let's just have a demo move here. And engage him. And this should hopefully be alright. Now I can probably follow up straight up with another mind blast. The double mind blast strategy. Oh, nice teleport. <laughs> and Dare is like, what? What just huh? happened? I swear I swung my blade right at him. <laughs> and he just teleported away. Alright, let's move in here and use some of this action. Finish him off. He's going down. <laughs> Aloth, nicely done. Nicely These done. Are in for a walloping. Oh, he was in for a walloping. Nicely done, nicely done. Alright, that went well. Just one. <laughs> just one. I should be quite confident with dealing with just one of them. Alright, creeping forwards. What do we see? I see another staircase downwards. Getting deeper. Oh, man. Oh, what is here? Uh, some black some black oozes. And it looks like a... Kind of an... It looks like a, a disciple or something. Though there is the crystals jutting out behind him. Which gives it a bit more of a dramatic look as well. Alright, let's creep forwards a little bit here. Hold on, we, we'll stay here and I'll... I'll creep forwards and see what else we can find. Alright, there's two, at least two oozes. At least two. But potentially more. I can't see if there's anything around here, so that could be a problem. Looks like just the two oozes, and we might be able to engage uh, in this area pretty well. If we sort of get them to funnel into the section. Even if, even if there is more, it's a bit of a choke point for us, so it wouldn't be too bad. Alright, let's open up with a Mind Blast on this guy just here. Give that a try. That got his attention! Alright, let's move back. Oh, there is there is a shadow there. We're gonna have a mixed engagement here. A mixed engagement. Alright, <laughs> Dare just took uh, a bit of slime there. A bit of ooze. Alright, I should probably move off of that. I don't know if that sort of causes an acid burning effect on the ground, but we don't, I don't want to. I don't want to wait and find out. All right, let's use some magic missiles here to deal some damage, and I will. I might hold off for a second. I can potentially switch and get an arrow shot, maybe. Lava. Oh, I'm I, I'm waiting, recovering after using my mind blast. Oh, there's another slime there. All right, I don't want to engage just yet. Let's move back, and I'll wait until the positioning improves in our favor a little bit, and then I'll try and mind blast. This mind a mind blast here could be pretty pretty effective. Could finish him off. Oh, I got a bit of a waiting. All right, let's just let's just attack him regularly then. And I'll have, ooh, a fan of flames here could be really good. Let's go for it. I'm excited. <laughs> uh, we'll have a dare get ready to engage after this fan of flames. All right, fan of flames away in the doorway. You got this, Aloth. I believe in you, my hey. friend. Good luck. <laughs> Oh yes, oh yes. One miss, two hit, one crit. That's what I want to say. I saw that crit. It looks like 73 damage or something there. <laughs> and a 45 damage. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, that should be safe to engage now. 
Uh, Aloth is getting engaged by this shadow, which is basically typical, right? Typical. Typical. <laughs> Alright, Aloth. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to sort of take the brunt of this force for a second. Oh man, Aloth just got smacked! Shadow crits Aloth for 17 freeze damage and hits with an additional effect. Dazed. Oh good. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, alright. Maybe I can Oh jeez. Alright, let's see, try let's try to go for our blades here, actually. Can I finish off the the ooze? Then maybe we can get Adair to engage. Aloth's gonna go down, probably. How may I help? It's tip it's pretty pretty standard of him. Maybe we can get off a fan of flames. I don't know, maybe. If we're lucky. If we're very lucky. Oh, Aloth. You can do this, man. Just hold on, hold on for life. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Don't fan of flames. I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. Just attack. Just attack, it's just the one shadow left. Aloth's going down. Yep. <laughs> shadow punches Aloth in the face. Goodbye, Aloth. We'll, we'll pick you up after this fight, man. Don't worry, you'll be okay. Oh, okay, alright, you're gonna be okay. The teleport. Get, come on, Adara gets super confused very easily. He's like, as soon as the shadow teleports, he's like, Oh? Where'd he go? Alright, that, you know, that went, all in all, that went okay. I mean, we got a very nice Fan of Flames. Fan of Flames has been, I mean, yes. Aloth, right? Aloth. He's kind of been the MVP of this dungeon, and yet he's also okay. died the most by a great, great, all great right, margin. Good. Like, basically he's been consistently dying, but, you know, when he does it, he does it with style. With the pimp hat. <laughs> and he also, uh, he also pulls his weight when push comes to shove. The still dark waters are reflective as black glass. And I think this is a good moment for us to end this particular episode. I know it has been action packed guys, and I'm very eager to head further into the Temple of Aethos. I think there's a lot more for us to uncover. But for now, that is it. Guys, I'll see you in the next episode. That's it for now. I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.